Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'm looking at Dry Bell's reinvention of a JFET compressor that used to live right on your guitar's output jack. It's the Module 4 compressor. This orange flavored compressor not only offers the same vintage feel and EQ from the late 70s, but offers many improvements and tone shaping features. Module 4 is equipped with every parameter to fine tune this compression. Then you can dial in the exact feel and bloom with the attack and release times, just like a studio compressor. Drybell gives you a modern blend control to achieve parallel compression and let the dry signal preserve dynamics, while a tone control can enhance the sparkle or mellow out the sound to match your musical taste. The orange button toggles between the original vintage voicing with enhanced mids and a warm top end, or full frequency mode for a brighter and snappier compression and when using orange mode in buffered, it'll continue to present the same signal shaping and warmth even with the compressor turned off. The Module 4 is also equipped with smart silent foot switching that lets you engage a fast or slow expander circuit to hush that hiss when not playing. Plus when you tap it five times, you can enable a low end cut to tighten up the compression overall. Just like all dry bell effects, Module 4 is hand built in Croatia and housed in a new custom enclosure filled with high quality components, ensuring higher headroom and lower noise. Let's start with that classic orange squeeze setting by, of course, pressing the orange button, but also lining up those knobs where the dots are, and that gives you a nice starting point to get that classic sound, and then you could take it from there and change the feel and the attack and the tone. <laughs> So as you can tell, it's a compressor that you can really hear and feel. Uh, we'll get into some more kind of silent compression later on using that clean blend. Uh, but let's just switch the orange mode off and keep all those settings the same and hear how the frequencies just uh, you know expand when you take off that orange mode. <laughs> So right there, just with a single press of a button, you have two completely different flavors of compression. Now let's get back to the orange mode and play around with the feel and the intensity with these external controls for attack, release, and the preamp level. So we have a more aggressive compression here. Now let's kind of change that feel by slowing down the attack as well as the release time, which is really gonna help avoid uh, you know, that kind of pumping effect because it's gonna hang onto those notes longer. <laughs> Thank you. 
Back to a quick attack. So you have a lot of control over the attack and the feel of this compressor, and that's not even changing the tone or that orange mode. Now let's get into the clean blend because this is another instance where you could kind of have the compressor fade in more gracefully and just hear the initial attack of your guitar's dry signal. While we're here, let's add a little bit more makeup gain and get some uh, extra drive out of the amplifier. Sticking with a clean blend setting, let's open up the frequency range of module four by clicking that orange button off. So we're gonna hear a, a more hi-fi kind of modern compression, and we're just gonna have a little bit of that clean blend dialed in, like I said, to retain the initial attack of this guitar. <laughs> Sticking with this wider frequency range, let's just play around with the tone control because you could actually roll off high end uh, in either mode. So with some humbuckers, let's try a couple different things. I'm gonna brighten things up, like I mentioned, with the orange mode, but I'm also gonna enable the low cut, and this is a feature that you activate by hitting the foot switch five times. With that low cut, it really helps tighten things up and get rid of some kind of fluttery distortion that you often hear uh, when you're kind of overloading a compressor. So you, it's a nice bright sound in this orange mode, but we're hearing a little bit of that you know, kind of harmonic crunch here. So let's enable that low cut. So blinking green light means that we've enabled it. So it's a lot cleaner here, and we could still play with the uh, preamp and the output of the pedal to, you know, match the strength we want.
There's one last feature I want to show you, and that's the expander circuit. Again, this helps reduce the hiss and noise when you're not playing. It's kind of like a little noise reduction built in. So I'm going to start with some overdrive after the compressor, engage the module 4, and then hold the foot switch, and you'll hear the expander working. <laughs> There's a little bit of white noise here, and we're not getting any hum, obviously, because I have humbuckers. So let's engage that expander and hear what happens to that little bit of white noise in the background. It's completely gone. Now this is the slow mode, you could activate the fast expander just by hitting the orange switch five times. So that really grabbed onto that hiss. It does kind of affect the attack here, so again, this is a fine-tuned setting that you're going to want to uh, determine for your own guitar. <laughs> there you go, the Dry Bell Module 4 Compressor. Just some great voicings and a lot of flexibility, especially when it adapts to different pickups. And you can find it at drybell.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.